Good evening. We begin tonight with the political hot potato that's been passed around for decades. The cost to restore the Prime Minister's official residence. The estimate, $38 million to repair the drafty, crumbling home after decades of neglect. CTV's Eric Longley is live at 24 Sussex tonight. Eric. Well, Patricia, these numbers are being reported today by iPolitics. And as you say, they peg the latest proposed renovations at almost $38 million. That is significantly more than the $10 million the Auditor General estimated back in 2008. Now, the state of this 148-year-old building has been an issue for years. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his family aren't even living here, of course. Issues here include outdated wiring, heating and cooling, windows, security, universal access. The latest proposal includes all of that and more. It estimates those repairs and renovations to the main building will now cost in the order of $13.5 million. On top of that, there is a near $12 million plan to demolish the pool house built by Trudeau's father 40 years ago. In its place, they're proposing a 7,500 square foot new residence, freeing up the existing building for state and support functions. Now, the NCC declined to comment on these numbers today. And in fact, their plate is rather full. This is nearly the biggest project they're looking at right now. Tomorrow, we will learn about the, the uh, progress of the Le Breton Flats development. And we will also hear the NCC's recommended location for the expanded Civic Hospital campus site. Patricia. All right, it was a little tough to hear you there for a second, Eric, but I imagine there's going to be a lot of noise around this issue for some time to come. CTV's Eric Longley reporting live tonight. Thank you.